Okay, in this video, we want to solve for x prime is equal to ax, where a is denoted by this 2 by 2 matrix. And the first thing we're going to do is get our eigenvalues. So we say 3 minus r, and then negative 1 minus r. This diagonal here, we say minus r, minus r. This diagonal here, 1 and, 1 and negative 4, remains the same. And we'll just call this v1, v2 is equal to 0, 0, like this. And so we'll multiply the diagonals. So 3 minus r times negative 1 minus r minus parentheses 1 times negative 4, so plus 4 is equal to 0. So next we can say negative r times negative r, r squared, then uh, minus r times 3, so negative 3r, then plus negative r times negative 1, so plus r, so minus 2r. Lastly, minus 1 times 3, so negative 3 plus 4 is equal to 0. And so we will group the uh, negative 3 and plus 4. And so we would get r squared minus 2r plus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, we can say r minus 1 squared, so we would have r is equal to 1 or r is equal to 1. It repeats. And so the next thing is, we plug in 1 here, and so we would get 3 minus 1 is 2, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2, and 1 negative 4. Uh, v1, v2 is equal to 0, 0, remains the same. And if you notice here that this row right here and this row right here is just double of it. So this row is a half of this, and so we could say that uh, v1, v1 is equal to minus parentheses minus 2v2. And so that means v1 is equal to 2v2. And so if we plug in, if we plug 1 for v2, that means v1 would be 2. Or you could think about it this way. If v1, if this is 2, we divide by 2. That means v2 would be 1. And so our eigenvector for the eigenvalue of 1 would be this. But we're not done. Since it repeats, we need to do something different. Instead now, we continue this. So 2, 1, negative 4, negative 2 remains the same. But instead of v1, v2, we say p1, p2 is equal to this eigenvector. Not 0, 0, but this eigenvector here. So 2, 1. And like we did last time, if you notice that this row right here is just double of this row. So 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 1 times 2 is uh, 2. And so to make our lives easier, we can say 1 times p1 minus 2 times p2 is equal to this one right here. So 1 times p1 minus 2 times p2 is equal to 1. And so if we rearrange, we could say that p1 is equal to 2p2 plus 1. And so that means the uh, eigenvector, if you will, would be p1 would be 2p2 plus 1. p2 remains the same, p2. And so to even make our lives easier, if we choose a random number for p2, which we could say is 0, then what we would have for this like eigenvector, if you will, it would be 2 times 0, so 0, plus 1. P2 we said is 0, so we get 0. Um, we could choose any number. We could choose like P2 could equal 3. It would just be a little bit more difficult. And the most obvious thing, the easiest thing to work with is 0. So we're arbitrarily choosing P2 is equal to 0. And so our final answer for the general solution will be C1 e raised to t because the eigenvalue was 1, so 1 times t, and the eigenvector was 2, 1. And since it repeats, we say plus c2 parentheses e raised to t, the eigenvalue we said was 1, times t because it repeats. And we say 2, 1, the eigenvector 2, 1, plus, now this is a little different, uh, we say e raised to t of 1, 0, this right here. And so that's all you need to do for this problem.